There are many ways to create a VR gaze timer, but in this video I will show you a simple way to do that. Also, we are going to use this mechanic to teleport our player, like that. It's very easy, so let's begin. First, I will show you how to create an image that we are going to use on our project. You can use any software that you can draw. I'm going to use Paint 3D. I think I'm the only one that uses this, but anyway, okay. So here I'm going to Canvas, select Transparent, and resize it to 36 by 36 pixels. And now I'm going to add a 3D circle. It doesn't need to be perfect as you can resize on Unity, but I will try my best here. Now save as PNG and import to Unity by dragging the file into the project window. Here on Unity, I have a new scene with two components we need to work with VR, the GVR Event System and the GVR Editor Emulator. I also already created the player, which is a game object with the main camera inside. Make sure the transform values of the camera is set to zero. Also, I added the GVR pointer physics ray caster to the camera. And as a child of the camera, we have our reticle pointer to interact with objects. All these, you can find them by importing the VR package that I will leave on the description below and searching on the search bar here. Now, let's first create an object to interact with. I'll add a cube and position here on the side of our floor. Resize it. Next, add the component even trigger and I will rename it to teleport. Oh, let's also create a tag for it. So click on tag, add tag, plus icon here, and I'm going to call it teleport. Select the teleport again and give it the tag. To use the image we created before, right click on the hierarchy and select UI image. Here, remove the graphics raycaster script of the canvas and change the render mode from overlay to camera. On the image, first reset the transform values and we will add our circle now. I will click here and select our image. We have this image type here, click and select fill it. Now, if I change the fill amount, you can see how the circle size changes. Great job guys. Next step, create a script that will handle the gaze timer. Right click here, create new C script and I'll call it VR gaze. Now open the script to edit. On our script, because we're using images, we need to add this using Unity Engine dot UI. After that, we let's create our variable. So we need a public image. Let's call EMG gaze. Then I need a public float total time equals four. Let's give it a value of two actually. And a boat GVR status and another float GVR timer. Perfect. So now down here after UP date, we need two methods to activate and deactivate our gaze timer. So public void GVR on. And inside here, GVR status equals true. And now we need another method to make it false, to deactivate. So public void GVR off. And in here, GVR status equals false. Also, we want to reset everything. So GVR timer equals zero. And image gaze dot fill amount equals zero as well. Now on update, if GVR status is true, what we need to do, GVR timer plus equals time dot delta time emg gaze dot fill amount equals GVR timer divided by total time. We save it and let's go back to Unity now. Back here, first add the script to our player. Next, our script is asking for an image. So let's drag it this image here. After that, select the teleport and on event trigger, add new event. One pointer enter and another pointer exit. 
Click on these plus icons here and drag the player into it. Now we can call the methods we created to activate and deactivate the gaze timer. Click here, select our script VR gaze and search for the method GVR on. Down here, the same but we want the GVR off. With that done, it's time to test. Now, if I look to the teleport cube, we can see that our gaze timer is working, but we are not able to interact yet. So let's create a script to teleport and interact with this. So let's create a script to teleport our player. I will create another script, call it teleport. Let's open. And here is very simple. We don't need to start an update method, so let's delete everything. And we need first a variable, so public game object. Let's call it player. And we need a method public method, public void teleport player. And in here it's very simple. So player dot transform dot position equals new vector tree. And in here transform dot position dot x transform dot position dot y plus let's see 1.5 f and on the z-axis transform dot position dot c perfect so save the script and let's go back to unity here in unity add the script to the teleport and here drag the player into it next step is to call the teleport player method when our gaze is filled up so let's go back to the vr gaze script to get the information from which game object we are looking at, we're going to use a ray caster. So for that, I need a public int distance of ray. I'll give you a value of 10 and a private ray cast hit. I'll call it underline hit. And inside the update method, after our if condition, so ray ray equals camera dot main dot view point to ray new vector tree and here 0.5f 0.5f and 0f perfect and down here if physics dot ray casts here ray out underline hit distance of ray now we're able to get information from the game object we are pointing to so we need another if image gaze the fill amount equals one so if the image is full now and the hit dot transform dot compare tag so which tag teleport so if the image is full and we are looking to the teleport, let's call the method to teleport our play. So hit dot transform dot game object dot get component. Here we're gonna call the teleport and call the method. Call teleport player. Great. Save the script and let's go back to Unity now. Now it's time to test. If I look to the cube and once the image is filled up our play is able to teleport it. Congratulations guys, we are now able to interact using gaze timer. And the good thing about this is that you can use for any object in this scene. Buttons will not work, I will show you on the next video. To give you guys an example, I added the cube from the previous lesson here and you can see I also added the same event trigger and call it GVR on and GVR off. Now, inside our script, I will call the method to make it spin. Here inside our script, you can see I just copy and paste the if condition from the teleport and instead of the teleport tag, rotate cube and instead of the teleport script, I call rotate cube and the method I want is change spin. Also, I added this GVR status because I want this to be called only once when our fill amount is full and then we will call only once this method and we back to false. So let's test now. Here now, if I press play, you can see if I look to the cube and once the fill amount is full, great, rotate, 
If the fill amount's off, stop it. And if I look to the teleport, I can teleport. I also added another one. I can teleport back. Perfect. So you can see now we can interact with case timer. And on the next one, I will show you guys how to interact with buttons. And we're gonna change the scene as well. Okay, this is it for this video. So if you enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any question, suggestion, or having any issue with the project, leave in a comment below. I always answer everybody. So enjoy your game and see you on the next one.